Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Copper Jacket TV. So I'm back out here in the desert today to give you guys a review of what I would consider to be the best AR bag that you could possibly buy. This is the Vulcan Weatherlock Double AR Bag. I also have their pistol bag and all of the different pouches that go on the front right here. This is a waterproof AR bag. Let's talk about it. Okay, so here's the Vulcan Arms pistol bag, and this is the Vulcan Arms double rifle bag. We're going to go ahead and move the camera closer to the table so we can get a better look, and I can talk to you guys about what they're made of, how they're made, and how they keep the water out. But in full transparency, these were sent to the channel by Vulcan Arms for me to be able to test out and review for you. So I didn't have to pay for these. I just want you guys to know that up front. So with that being said, let's go ahead and move the camera. We'll talk a little bit more about what I honestly consider the, the best soft bags you can buy. Okay, so you know the testing that we did in the very beginning of the video? We're going to get to that here in just a bit so you guys can actually see what the stuff looked like on the inside after we kicked it with mud and water and just you know made it really nasty. So we'll take a look at that here in just a bit. But before that, I want to show you guys how this thing is put together because it's really interesting. So the material that you have for the bag is not your typical material. It almost feels like a rubbery type texture, almost like a neoprene. It almost feels like body glove or a wetsuit or something like that. It is is really nice it's extremely lightweight but it's also super super strong so this is a very strong well-built bag and as you can see it's got a bunch of molly all up on the front right here and that's where we're going to be attaching our bags so we have two smaller pouches that are going to fit on the sides one larger pouch that attaches in the middle right here. Now, one thing I want to point out that I think is really unique is going to be the zipper itself. The zipper is not like your typical zipper. This zipper, it completely seals off. It's a rubberized texture all through the top right here. It does take a little bit of extra effort to get this thing to pull around, but that's what makes the seal so tight. It's a really unique zipper. As a matter of fact, it actually comes with a little bit of lubricant that you put on the zipper itself to kind of, well, you put it on the, the zip pull and then you drag drag it through, but it helps make it a little bit easier once you apply that oil. But that keeps this thing completely moisture proof. So it's not just for like heavy amounts of water. If you want to keep something in your bag or, you know, keep it in the garage in a bag and you're worried about the moisture seeping in or rust or things like that, you don't have to worry about this. This will keep that moisture out. You know, I mean, you can always put some desk packs in there if you want to kind of absorb any extra moisture, but this will keep all of that moisture out to keep everything inside nice and dry and keep it free from rust as well. It's got a nice carry handle. If we bring the carry handle over the top right here, it's got this nice foam padded carry handle. It's a pretty decent sized carry handle and it feels good when you have two pretty heavy rifles in there. So if I'm carrying this thing around, it's got two heavy rifles, magazines and everything else and it weighs 25, 30 pounds after everything that I've stuffed in there. Uh, this handle actually does feel pretty good. We've got some uh, D-rings on the back right here so you can lash this to stuff or attach it in whatever way you feel necessary. We've also got some extra carry handles on the back so if you want to be able to uh, just simply carry it like this because it's easier for you, you can use two hands to carry it like that. Uh, it's really nice. The stitching looks really good. The material is very unique and, and I, I like the material a lot. So let's go ahead and open this thing up so I can show you guys the inside real quick. Okay, so I had to flip this thing around so you guys can see the inside. But one thing I want to point out is that the AR bag is going to be the same material as the pistol bag, as all the pouches that attach to the front. They have the same zippers. And so it keeps the water out of all of the components and not just the main compartment itself. Everything that you can buy as attachments to these are going to be made out of that same material. So with that being said, let's go ahead and open this thing up and take a quick look at it. Now, the first thing I want to point out is on the top right here, we have Vulcan sticker. We also have uh, that lubricant that I was telling you about that you want to put on the zipper itself. And that's going to kind of help it glide a little bit easier, even though it's not that hard to begin with. Uh, but right here we have that center cutoff section. This is a nice piece of foam that's going to keep the two rifles separated uh, and so they don't scratch each other up. We also have a shoulder strap right here. The shoulder strap has some uh, it's almost like a carabiner attachment on either side. That's going to attach to the D-rings that I showed you on the opposite side of the, the pouch. It says Vulcan on it. It's very nice, very padded. It's got that nice material, so it's like a, you know, uh, it allows you to wick away the sweat, and it's, it's kind of a breathable material right there. Now, here we have our two uh, attachment points so that you can secure 
your rifle to the bag. These are both going to be hook and loop. You simply open these up. One side attaches to the rear of the rifle. One side goes over the handguard. Uh, and then we have these two pouches, one on either end. And that's for your buttstock and your, you know, your muzzle device to fit in there nice and tight. If you have something that's shorter, like an AR pistol, then these straps should still work to hold everything together. As long as it's not like this super compact thing, it should still work with those right there. And again, that's going to be the same on both both sides so everything fits in here really nice and secure okay so here's our pistol bag now again this is going to have the same material as our double AR bag it's going to have the same zipper etc except obviously it's going to be different on the inside because it's set up to carry your pistols now on this side you can see we do have some molly webbing so you can actually add an additional pouch Whatever you want to carry, you can put in that pouch and lock that onto that molly right there. It's got a nice rubberized patch on both sides. So now let's go ahead and open this thing up. Now, I should mention that this comes inside this as well. So you're going to get that lubricant, your sticker, directions, and you know all the stuff that you're going to need there. So this is what the inside of it looks like. Now, what I like about this is, is you can organize a lot with this. So it's got a nice large space where you can put your pistol and keep everything nice and safe and dry. And then it has a total of eight magazine pouches. There's going to be four pistols mag pouches on either side and then larger pouches behind those mag pouches so there's a, a lot of space in here to put different stuff and then again with the expansion of the molly webbing you can carry a lot more with it but it's nice it's padded even where your magazines go so if you put your magazines in here you have metal mags and you want to keep the finish maybe you have a Cerakote finish or something you did custom and you want to keep that nice they actually didn't just put a thin nylon material right here this is actually padded and so it's going to keep that you know harsh metal edges away from your pistol which I thought was pretty cool the bag in the back as well so these pouches in the back are also going to be padded so everything that you put in here is guaranteed to have something padded touching it okay so we're gonna kick some mud dirt and water all over that AR bag so you guys can see how well it works but first I want to show you some of the attachments that Vulcan has for those bags uh, specifically here and I'll show you guys another one as well these are two of the side pouches, okay, again, same material, same zipper, molly webbing on the front. You can attach something else to the front of that, even double these up if you want to. But uh, these are the pouches for the side part of the rifle bag. There's another longer one that goes in the middle. Again, I'll roll in some footage of that here in just a second. And this is one that you could use either independently or you can use this on the front of that pistol pouch uh, just to be able to carry some more stuff. So let me go and open this thing up so I can show you guys what is inside here you can see this one doesn't completely fillet open this one is more of you know a pouch style right so you just unzip the top you can put you know boxes of stuff in there whatever you want you can uh you know just load it up and this again attaches to that uh, pistol case these two smaller ones right here which are the exact same on the inside these are more like pouches attached to the side of the rifle bag and then i have the longer one which goes in the center so it looks something like this and it's uh, a pretty cool setup Okay, so I went ahead and I put my AR in the bag. It's got a nice optic on it and everything, sealed everything up. I've got some water here. We're going to go ahead and pour that water on top. And then once everything gets soaked, we're going to knock this thing over into the mud. And we're going to kick some dirt and mud on it as well. And then we'll open it up to take a look and see uh, what everything looks like inside. So let's just go ahead and soak this thing. All right, so that ended up being a little bit more muddy than I expected. Let's go ahead and back this thing up where it's the nastiest here, and let's just, I don't know, kick some of this mud up there if we can. Gross this thing up. Okay, so here's a closer look at the bag. You can see that I tried to put everything on the zipper. So we poured it on the zipper, 
We put the zipper on the side that we were kicking and tried to get everything to what you would consider to be its weakest point. So now that we have that done, let's go ahead and put it back on the table and see what it looks like inside. All right, so I think this thing's pretty well nastied up. Let's go ahead and open it and uh, see what happened on the inside. Now, if anything falls in there while I'm you know, opening it through this mud, I'm not really gonna worry about that too much. Just trying to open it up and do the best we can with that. All right, moment of truth. Let's see what it looks like. My hands are full of mud now. All right, there it is. There's the, uh, the AR right there. Daniel Defense, upper. It's a Frankenstein lower. There's our optic. Everything's completely safe. Okay, so I went ahead and I moved the camera angle so you guys can see it from this side as well. But I'll go ahead and I'll take the strap off. You know, maybe you could take that other, I don't need to take that other strap off. I'll we'll just go ahead and take this thing out. It is 100% completely dry. Uh, honestly, not a single drop of water, not a piece of dirt, not a piece of dust in the entire bag. So even though we poured several gallons of water on top of it, kicked a bunch of mud on it, you know, got it pretty nastied up. I mean, you can still see what it looks like right there. We got it pretty nastied up. Absolutely none of that made it to the inside of the bag, which is not something that I could say for any of my other bags. Uh, even my more expensive bags would probably be soaking wet on the inside, if not slightly muddy, because we're on a dry lake bed here. And so it's like silt and it just gets into absolutely everything. It's very dusty sand around here and it will get into everything. So uh, it, it's, that's definitely the test to give it. So again, this is the Vulcan Weatherlock Double AR bag. Easily the best soft case that I've ever used. If you guys want more information about it, go ahead and check out my website and I will link my website down below. Thank you all very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please like, subscribe, and you guys have a great day.